Did you know that the effects of climate change may be irreversible by 2030? Did you know that more than 1 million animal species face extinction due to climate change? What actions, as 15-year-olds, can we take to stop this climate crisis? Now, as a 15-year-old, my passion and interest for climate change has definitely increased exponentially. Well, actually, it was an animated film that first got me interested in climate change, named Ice Age. It was one of my favourite film series when I was younger. Well, the movie did help illustrate climate change, especially the second part, named Meltdown. Even though it was just an animated film, and some parts of the film were overly exaggerated, it did help me see how climate change has plagued our Earth to this day. It, made, it then made me wonder, okay, climate change has existed for such a long period of time. Definitely, there have been new ideas developed to fight against it as an individual. I started to use the internet in a useful way for the first time and did some research. I always wondered what we, as 15-year-olds, could do in our schools or across all schools to help fight climate change. Now, don't get me wrong, I have always enjoyed learning. However, the amount of paper that we use for education worries me. Whenever we learn a new topic, we get notes that are like 20 to 40 pages long. Just imagine that this is printed for the whole cohort of students. Once, I volunteered to be a science representative. So basically, as a science representative, I had to collect money from my class to pay for the notes. So when I go to the photocopying shop, there are always these massive boxes of paper stacked on top of one another, ready to print. I wonder how many trees had to pay the price. Nowadays, I feel that people are getting more tech savvy than ever, especially our youth. If you have been following the COVID-19 circuit breaker period, students had to stay home for two months and engage in e-learning. To tell you frankly, in the, during this period, even I have gained a lot of tech know-how. For example, I learned how to use Google Classroom, how to create Google Forms, and even how to present my screen on an online call. My teachers were also able to teach big groups of students at the same time, harnessing technology to do so. Therefore, I definitely believe that going digital is the way forward. Some solutions may require efforts beyond us students, but there are also ways we can positively contribute. Instead of relying on adults to make the change, we in our school communities should also play our part. In today's world, there are so many opportunities in order to become an environmentally friendly citizen. We can start with daily fundamentals. So recently, I picked up this habit of reflecting on my daily life every day. It was one of, the, one of these days that I realized that it's not that 15-year-olds today are not willing to play their part in fighting climate change or are ignoring climate change. It's just that we are cultivating bad habits that have become hard to break. I know that lessons nowadays are even longer than before. School days have become more mentally and physically challenging that it's a common sight to see tired classmates. To stay awake, obviously, we drink coffee. Sometimes, I've asked the canteen store auntie to refill my cup up to three times. So basically, each time, I would just dispose my old cup and like go for the new one. Well, that was when I realized that, wait a minute, even I have become a part of the problem. Just imagine, I was not the only one doing this. Instead of reusing the cups, my bad habit of going for new ones just for convenience had become ingrained in me. Well, it is possible to wear off any bad habit if you try. So let me share with you what I did. All I can say is it worked for me. So I started to bring my own cup for coffee and even lunch boxes for lunch. I know you may be amazed. Wow, I'm such a responsible student, right? Well, obviously not. During the first few days, I forgot to take my own cup along with me and just used the paper cup provided. So this was when I started a kind of a social experiment, with my friend, where he would start finding me so that I'm held accountable for my actions. And I'm not kidding at all. So basically every time I purchase food or drinks that come with disposable packaging, I had to put 50 cents from my pocket money into a container that he brings along. Guess what? 
the container was filling up quickly and I went broke in the first few weeks. That was definitely a turning point for me. I was actually feeling regretful to let this bad habit control me and at the same time harm the environment. I decided to step up and pay more attention to the items I purchased. Moreover, I started to bring my own cup and container, like how I bring my phone to every single place I go. So now I'm standing in front of you after successfully ending the social experiment. The thing is, it does not matter if your methods are orthodox or just, you know, plain weird. We must start reminding ourselves to do away with our bad habits. It's the only hurdle that we haven't crossed. And I know that it won't be easy, but I believe we can do it. I feel that these ideas and initiatives are just the beginning. Even though this may not seem perfect, I hope that it at least inspires others to come up with more. This mindset of dealing with a problem that we started must continue to exist for the generations to come. Climate change has become such a huge problem that will take an equal amount of effort to tackle. However, I definitely believe that if we all play our part, we are destined to succeed. Thank you.